We all know OpenAI's famous nearly human language models like ChatGPT and GPT-4 that can debate ethics, tutor students, and code entire programs with just text prompts. But under the hood, equally radical performance jumps are happening in OpenAI's lesser known tools. We're talking about up to 100% benchmark increases in some embedding models and pricing slashed in half for GPT-3.5 Turbo. And the best part? Remember how their AI would mysteriously get lazy and stop working at times? Well, those days seem to be over. The latest GPT-4 Turbo Preview finally delivers more thorough and reliable task completion, while all new developer APIs grant unparalleled visibility into usage so you can build without unpredictability or excuses. So let's talk about everything in detail. First, what exactly are embedding models? In simple terms, they are AI systems that can understand and represent the meaning of content like text, code, or images in a numeric vector form. This vector captures the semantic concepts and relationships between content that can then power applications like search, recommendations, translations, and more. Pretty neat, right? OpenAI just released two new text embedding models that offer significant upgrades. Text Embedding 3 Small is a highly efficient model providing over 5x cost savings compared to previous versions. Meanwhile, Text Embedding 3 Large is now their most powerful embedding model yet. We're talking double-digit performance jumps on benchmarks and accuracy metrics. This made me thrilled by ever-improving AI tools like these embedding models that will undoubtedly unlock new intelligent applications. And with OpenAI further reducing pricing, they're clearly aiming to get these capabilities in more developers' hands. Now onto the updates for GPT-3.5 Turbo, OpenAI's large language model known for lightning-fast response times. Following customer feedback, input and output prices have been slashed by 50% and 25% respectively. That's pretty substantial savings, especially for high-volume usage. Why? Well, not only is it cheaper now, but the latest version also completes tasks like code generation, much more thoroughly and reliably. OpenAI seems to have squashed bugs that previously caused unexpected laziness or limited non-English support. This made me highly impressed by OpenAI's pace of iteration and commitment to accessibility. Just looking at these embedding and language models, the rapid advancement of capabilities while reducing costs is great progress toward beneficial and widely usable AI. What improvements are you most excited by? How do you think developers will apply tools like Text Embedding 3 and GPT 3.5 Turbo? Let me know your thoughts. Even though GPT 3.5 Turbo marks an impressive achievement, but believe it or not, OpenAI is already previewing the next generation with GPT 4 Turbo. Now over 70% of requests are using this upgraded model that boasts even larger context windows and lower pricing. In the previous early preview, Developers reported a few pain points around unexpected laziness, limited non-English support, and unfinished task completion. Well, from what I can see, OpenAI has tackled this head-on with the latest GPT-4-0125 preview update. Finally, our AI tools are living up to their full potential. The improvements are clearly highlighted in code generation, where the new model reliably delivers thorough, reasoned output instead of trailing off mysteriously mid-task and full UTF-8 character set support now ensures non-English contexts are handled smoothly as well. I always found it bizarre that something so integral to global communication was missing, but hey, now that bug seems to be squared away. For developers who want easy access to the latest and greatest AI capabilities, there's a nifty GPT-4 Turbo Preview alias that will automatically point to whichever GPT-4 model is the newest. However, while these AI capabilities are certainly impressive, we mustn't forget about ethics and safety. Which is why I'm thrilled by OpenAI's updated content moderation model, Text Moderation 007. As AI interfaces continue expanding their reach and absorbing more data, there's an increasing need to detect harmful, biased, or toxic content. Without proper safeguards, AI systems could easily amplify societal biases, misinformation, hate speech, and more. This is where advanced moderation models like Text Moderation 007 come in. Having been trained on massive datasets, the model can accurately identify potentially abusive language, whether that's around violence, self-harm, sexually illicit content, or other policy violations. Flagging such text for human review acts as a critical safeguard across AI systems like ChatGPT that interact with people or generate content. 
Given that text moderation 007 demonstrates heightened precision on safety benchmarks compared to previous versions, I'd say it's doing an admirable job in assisting the ethical development of AI. Although certainly challenges still remain when assessing criteria like fairness and transparency. Still, progress in the right direction is being made through tools like these if you ask me. Responsible innovation requires establishing both cutting-edge performance and safety without excess sacrifice. Now let's shift gears to the last major announcement around API keys. API keys enable developers to access OpenAI models, but managing usage across teams can prove tricky. Well, early platform adopters consistently requested more visibility and controls here. Ask and you shall receive. OpenAI's new API key permissions allow granular access tuning per endpoint or task, and the usage dashboard now tracks metrics at the key level. So whether you need to analyze costs for a specific product, restrict an intern's permissions, or consolidate access for a given team, it's all easily achievable through these upgrades. Finally, the tools developers have been waiting for to build responsibly while leveraging AI's incredible potential. It's this balancing act, pursuing progress rapidly but soberly, that I truly admire about OpenAI's approach. What other controls would you find helpful for managing usage and security? Do you think AI advancement is moving too quickly? or should we be pushing the pace faster? I'm curious to hear your perspectives, but clearly between optimized models, ethical safeguards, and improved infrastructure, there is plenty for developers to celebrate and apply in this latest OpenAI release. As we wrap up, I want to applaud OpenAI's commitment to advancing AI safely and accessibly. In summary, developers now have upgraded embedding models delivering new efficiency and performance milestones for textual and visual understanding plus two critical language models in GPT-3.5 Turbo and GPT-4 Turbo Preview now provide advanced capabilities at lower prices while also improving reliability. Content moderation has leveled up to filter potential toxicity enabled by text moderation 007. And fine-grained API key controls grant teams greater visibility into usage metrics and costs. Across the board, OpenAI is clearly executing its mission for ethical and impactful AI development while empowering developers with cutting-edge tools. But it's now on creators like you and me to determine how AI can provide value. Will ingenious minds devise innovations to connect people? Might visionaries cure diseases? Can activists spread the truth? The possibilities are endless. As barriers lower, AI's benefits edge closer to reaching society. We stand at a profound point where progress may accelerate further in the coming years with additional upgrades. It's incredibly exciting times. But with such power comes great responsibility to ensure our AI creations empower rather than harm. If diligence matches prowess, we may find AI enabling abundance unimaginable before. Yet this requires establishing safety without sacrificing progress.